You know what, the last video did good. Okay, I'm gonna make a part two. The first one is underestimating the power that roosters actually have. Now this power is much greater than you might expect. Even the rooster that has the cutest look on his face. He looks so cute. How could he harm somebody like you? Guess the f what? He's gonna do something to you. And it could either be small scale, like a little, like running around, uh, be like, take like a morning jog around the yard, like he might follow you around. That's okay, it's normal. If you go in the yard and he starts, and he starts just 1v1ing you, and just like absolutely ratioing you, then that's a problem. That is something that you need to take care of. And that's why I never underestimate the power. So if you put yourself in a potential danger with a rooster, here's what to do. Simply put on some jeans and gloves and a hat, and go out there with what you have. Don't, <laughs> whatever you do, don't wear flip-flops. Just, just wear boots. So that way, you'll have another layer of protection. So that way, if he does come at you, the pain will be less numerous. Number two, not having an emergency plan for mandatory evacuations, and even just simple thunderstorms. Whether it's a really small little supercell thunderstorm that could possibly produce a tornado in your area, or a mandatory evacuation because of a wildfire or a hurricane, we're all gonna go through one or the other. I've never witnessed a mandatory evacuation, but hell yeah, there's a lot of supercells here, especially from May to August and even into early September. So from May to October, you should really be on the lookout for really bad storms that can cause potentially crippling damage. So you should always be on the lookout for storms that could have malicious intent on your property. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you have a plan. And if you don't already have a plan, I have a video about a mandatory evacuations that came out almost a year ago. Oh my God, I hate bugs, man. And then we have a video that's gonna come out hopefully by Friday, maybe Thursday too, if I get around to it. A video talking about, you know, um, chickens and just your emergency plan in general. And is it suitable for the standards? So I'll show you how to make an emergency kit, so subscribe for that. And finally, having no prior knowledge before you get your chickens. Fortunately, that's what this channel is about. I release daily videos about chickens and also gardening. I'm gonna start daily uploading, d double daily uploading, hopefully tomorrow. But today I had other things to do, so I wasn't able to get even like one upload in for most of the day. So if you wanna see more of that, subscribe. But anyways, I still have another stuff. I still have another thing for you. If you always wanna be like out there, I'd highly recommend making sure to trust the first results that you get if you search up like how to raise chickens. Because if you scroll down, chances are there's going to be less and less accurate information. And then you could find me, like, I don't know, like the 815th page or some sh** like that. It, it's somewhere there. Don't you worry. Just remember, always make sure you have some sort of knowledge about what you have. Always remember, if you have no knowledge about chickens, and you just get them, and you wing it, there is a chance that you don't know what the hell you're doing that you are going to cause some potentially pretty bad things to happen to your chickens. And don't you worry, you're not the first one to do that. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Subscribe to the channel and see you next video. And also, don't be like those people that just think that they can wing chickens. Bye-bye.